Nancy Campbell and Shirley Lewis Lark. And where exactly are we? We're at my home in, uh, on West Street in Wilmington, Delaware. Okay. And go. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm glad to have this interview. Uh, back then, though, you were not Venti Campbell, you were... Venti Williams. Venti Williams. Yes. You used the middle uh, name, Venti Jean. Well, everybody, oh, I'm sorry. Everybody called me Venti Jean. Venti Jean, right. When I got older, I dropped the Jean. <laughs> okay. And you are two surviving members of the Continents, who uh, were actually the area's first girl group as they called it back then. I can't think of any others before you guys. Uh, and uh, you made uh, one record with uh, Richie Records. Yes. Now you're, you're originally from Wilmington. Yes. Okay, did you, did you all know each other as, as like kids? Uh, we met in high school. Okay. We met in high school. And, and, and that is uh, Wilmington High School, right? Yes. yes. Okay. All, did all the continents go to Wilmington High School? Yes, yes. we all attended okay. Wilmington High School. Mm -hmm. okay. So it was very easy to practice um, every day in the stairwells because of the acoustics. Yes. Oh, what year was that? 1962 through 1965. Okay, uh, and and I know the the record that that you made was an original tune. Did y'all make any other music? I mean, did you ever come up with, uh, write other tunes? I know Valerie wrote Boys Who Don't Understand. understand yeah. But were there other original uh, songs? Was no, no, we didn't sing any other, uh, I mean, we didn't make any other originals, but we sang other songs. You know, okay. Other, from other female artist other groups. groups. Okay, groups. okay. Yeah. Uh, who were some of the groups that were, or artists that, that you also sang with, or you know, uh, uh, their songs. Yeah, the Marmalettes. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Um, the Chantels. Chantel. Um, the Shirelles. How about the Cookies? Uh, Baby Washington. Oh yes. Yeah, Baby Washington. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Back in the day. Man. Back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Way back in the day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Does it feel like a long time ago? Barbara Mason. Okay. Oh, she's still around. Um, no, Betty has a really good memory. Okay. Now, now, how did you get uh, to? Uh, how were you discovered? At a talent show. Okay. We were at a talent show when he, um, which we didn't even know he was there. No. You're talking about Vinnie Rega. Right. Exactly. Okay. And where was that? That was at at high school. Wilmington High School. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and then he. Gave you a call. He got in contact with you and said that you'd like to record your music. Well, this is what I remember, but you said you don't remember this. I remember <laughs> being in the movie. It was on a Sunday evening, mm -hmm. and I was in a movie with my boyfriend, which I don't even know who it was at the time. I think it was Dougie or somebody. But I remember someone <laughs> tapping me on the shoulder. Right. And I turned around, and there was this man standing there, and he said his name was Vince. Mm -hmm. And he said, and I looked at him, and he said, um, your other of your other um, girlfriends are in the lobby right. and when I went out in the lobby you guys were in the lobby you, you don't remember that but I remember that very clearly okay how he found I don't know but I remember being in the theater okay one of the movie theaters in town here. in town I think okay. it was the Queen okay I believe it was All right. and so you were out the lobby and he said well I'd like to record you guys right I can't remember exactly how it was, but I know we. It seemed like we, we, we met again around the corner. We were at Jackie's house. It might have been Jackie's house. They with the parents. With the parents, our parents. Me? Yes, okay. I remember that. That that was Jackie Hazard. Jackie Hazard. Yes. So did somebody else sister. decide to that you should record, or did you guys do it as a you know like a a group? As a group. As a group. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah very cool. Mm -hmm. And then did you have to go to your parents and say? We like, like financing for this. Everything we did, our parents had to approve it. Oh, we that's were just great. Teenagers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you, it was who was in the group originally? Just the two of you, or no? No, it was, it was myself, yes. Vinti Jean, yes. Valerie Robinson, mm -hmm. Jackie Hazard, and yes. Debbie Batson. 
Jackie Hazard and Debbie Basson has now they're deceased. Okay. And it's the three of us. Okay. Then we had Linda. Oh, Linda I'm Powell. sorry. We had Linda Powell. She, which she probably should have been here today. Yeah. But that's okay. Linda Powell wasn't. She didn't sing with us, but she, she played. played for us. She okay. played the piano for us. Nice. So what kind of music did you actually? What was it? Doo wop or I mean, what? I hope so it was. Sort of like the pop music at the time. Like the right. yeah. Yeah. Yes, the okay, I got it. Yeah, so what, what musical instruments were in the band? Well, you were... Yeah. The bass, uh, keyboard, drums. Drums, yeah. But you didn't and play any instruments. No. No, okay. Uh, now, Boys Who Don't Understand, I noticed that was written by Valerie. Did she write the whole song, or did she have, uh, I mean, she did wrote she... wrote the whole song. She, so, Valerie's very talented, yes. Yeah, I mean... Very she, talented. She, so she worked out the song, wrote the lyrics and everything, and sang lead on that, too. Mm -hmm. Worked out the background. Background, okay. everything. Okay, wow. Mm -hmm. Now, the flip side, Billy the Kidder, I noticed that was written by... Uh, Vince Rago. Vince, Vince Rago, 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 right? And, and did he write all the music? I mean, did he write the music and the lyrics as well? Because I see he was the only one uh, credited yes. with that. Yes, he did that. Whole so he was able... I know he wrote a lot of music, because I see his name on a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But you you sang lead, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. what, what was that? What? Whose decision was that? Was that yours? Or how you know? How did you end up singing lead on that one? Well, Val, Valerie and I used to alternate singing leads on our songs. Okay. That was kind of upbeat. Mm -hmm. so. And she sang more of the ballad kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you actually were uh, uh, did did a little bit of touring. In the area, you, you told me once you were on Chief Halftown's program. Oh yeah, that yes, was like did. our first TV show. Sure. <laughs> oh, really? Can you imagine? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. It was like early in the morning. Early in the morning. Early in the morning. Right. In the morning. We went to Philadelphia. Uh -huh. Told everybody, you gotta watch Chief Halftown at six o'clock in the morning. Oh, so it was live at six a.m. Yes. Oh my gosh, I missed yes. that one. I, mm -hmm. I, of course, I remember Chief Halftown vividly. Mm -hmm. Now the the two tunes that you did record though, wh where were they recorded? I remember in Philadelphia, but where in Philly, I don't remember. Okay, it wasn't on Broad Street or anything like that. We're thinking. It of, may have been. Uh, 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 Probably it? wherever the popular place was that during that time. During that time. And, and who backed you up? Who were the instrumentalists who backed you up? Do you remember, or or were you even? I remember Joe Robinson. Remember right. Joe Robinson? Joe Robinson, his guitarist, brother. and uh, uh, Joe Robinson's And his brother, brother Teddy. Teddy. Teddy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Teddy. Who played bass? Was it? Well, Teddy, I think, plays bass. Bass. Okay. Yeah. And of course, we had Linda. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know who was on the drums. Yeah, probably a session guy. Did you do costumes? Well, Are we, we had outfits. Dad? We had. Um, the 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 picture that you guys have, uh, we had the black and white on. Right. But when we sang at the um, armory, right, we had um, outfits. We had the that pink thing? and pink and white outfits when we sang at the army when it was James Brown and right. it was there, Smokey Robinson mm -hmm. and nice. whoever else was there, Mary Wells. Who so you sang. I, I, we sang because we so we sang. Obviously, we we sang right. first. Of course. And yeah. so, but basically, we had the white blouses mm -hmm. and the black skirts. Right. We used to wear the little bow in our oh, hair. Yeah. Well, we look like teenagers. Yeah, we look like teenagers. We didn't <laughs> yeah. dress like, you know. Right. Yeah. Right. right. Uh, nice. And of course, that was the only recording you made. That one, that one record. Right. Okay. Where else did you uh, appear? On? We sang in Philadelphia. Yeah. I can remember, and I can't remember where it was exactly, but we sang in Philadelphia, and the person that wrote Party Lights, I seen the lights, I seen the uh, lights. Claudine Clark. Yeah, she was singing. Mm -hmm. She was on, don't you remember? She was on, and then we sang. I can't remember exactly where it was, but I remember right. that. We used to do all the local talent shows as well, like um, Walnut Street YMCA. Okay. And they used to, um, all the local groups used to come, and we used mm -hmm. to have... That's a lot of our entertainment growing up were the talent shows and the um, high school dances. Right. Yeah. That's where you played before you made your recording. That's exactly. what I was going to ask you. It was the talent shows yeah, talent and the shows. local high schools and stuff like that. Was exactly. there any bars or... No, you're too young to do that. Yeah, so it was basically that. just that. Mm -hmm. 
company. And then after you got your recording contract, how did things change? Did you start going to Philadelphia and, you know, and to... Um, I, I think after the recording, like we were in high school and once we graduated, uh, things kind of like fell apart and everybody went their own separate went to college. Ways. Went to college, went there, we went here, um, there. Um, so we kind of just Broke up. Right. Did we, we remained friends, oh, but we did, just right. didn't. You know. Did anyone continue singing and with other and singing in church? Oh, I, I used to sing um, in college with a group. You know, then I, I sang um, with a, a mixed group. Um, I sang with several groups after after that. Yeah. Where'd the name come from? From the Continental. <laughs> so you played with them, or how? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. So how I don't understand. So I think Vince may have did Vince uh, manage the con Continental. Well, he, they were on his label as on well. On his label, so that's where the Continents yeah. came from. So did you play with them a lot? Not really. Not really. Because they were a little older than we are. Okay. Yeah. So so the Continents. Did you call yourself anything before the Continents? We had a name. Remember we um. But I think I think before we joined, didn't you and it was you, Sandra? Your sister That's right. and Valerie and, and, and Debbie. Joy and Debbie and was Joyce Livingston. Was Joyce in it? Mm -hmm. But that's right, because you know my sister even said she said, Remember I said I could remember that, yeah, but that's true. <clears throat> but but you you did yeah. have another name and that you caused yourself. We did. To put was it the Fidgets or something? Yeah. I know it was a name, but yeah. I thought Joyce Livingston. But yeah, we had a but that didn't um I guess when we went to high that was just before high school then. Right before high school. Right before oh, high school. Okay. Then we went to high school, that little group just mm -hmm. dissipated and then, we, and then yeah. we all came together. So so you where where'd you go to junior high school or middle school or? I went to junior high school, um I started at Bancroft and then right. I ended up at Bayard. Okay. And I went to Jack and I went to Warner. Okay. Warner, okay. Warner. okay. Mm -hmm. so, so really you didn't know each other until high school. Right. Right. Uh, and and Fiddy, you said you grew up in this neighborhood, this general neighborhood. Yes, Fourteenth and Tatnall. Fourteenth and Tatnall. Right. And and Shirley, where'd you, where was where I was your neighborhood? Up, um, I grew up. I lived on the east side initially when I went to uh, Stubb School and Bancroft. Mm -hmm. and then we moved on the west side. Right. On Rodney Street. Okay. And then that's when I went to Bayard. I was okay. in that area, and that's when I met Rennie and all them, mm -hmm. Duncan and all them. And um, then from Bayard to Wilmington High, of course, that's when I met Venti. Okay. Okay. But I, I met Valerie before then. Okay. Can I hold on for one second? I have the same problem with my air conditioner. It goes on. Has any of your children or grandchildren become musicians or singers? Or? Well, I have a do daughter in the uh, entertainment world. Um, she's actually vice president for um, talent and touring for Live uh, Nation Urban which is a new unit of Live, uh, Live Nation that just came together. So nice. um, she uh, also, also has owns her own booking agency. Wow. So she's wow, she's really into... What's uh, her name? Heather Lowry. She's really into the uh, entertainment field. Nice. In fact, they just had a show last night up at Penn's Landing. Uh -huh. um, I think they sold like 7,000 tickets. People nice. are out there in the rain. Yeah. Um, mm. So she flew in from L.A. on Friday, and then I got up this morning and took them to the train station because they were going to New York at 4.48 this morning, so I haven't really had any sleep since Oh, my there. goodness. <laughs> she pops in and she pops out. You said her last name's Lowry? Hello, no. Yeah, they're Lowry. Lowry. Any Boise? relation to Boise? None. Nothing okay. I know of. Okay. Just had to, had to ask. <laughs> so she kind of took the torch a different way. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um... <clears throat> Now, how did how did people in the area feel when you came out with a record? It was a lot. How'd you feel when when you had your own record? Oh, people were very supportive. They yeah. were happy yes, they for were. us, yeah. and yeah, I mean, we just enjoyed was. singing. So it was like okay. it was a thrill. It was a just another a way time. for us to be recognized and right. out mm -hmm. in the circuit. But um, did you make any money? That's my next question. Not that I know. No, no, Vinnie made all the money. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, nobody yeah. makes money. In this no, place. not in Delaware. You have to go outside of a. Yeah. Did you ever consider that? Did you ever consider? I mean, you graduated high school. Everybody went their separate way. But was, was there that moment they said, you know, maybe you guys should go to Philadelphia or New York or something? Well, when we sang at the Armory, 
and I don't know if I'm the only man remember this. <laughs> um, I remember after we finished singing, we went in the back, mm -hmm. and Smokey Robinson came back, and he told us how he really enjoyed us, and he thought that we, you know, really sound good, and he gave us a card, mm -hmm. and he told us to tell our parents to contact him. But what we did, not knowing being young, we gave the information to Vince, Vince uh, which oh. was probably not a good idea. So yeah. we don't know what could have or would have happened well, had that not happened. That's an amazing story. Yeah. Yeah. It could have been an opening up for Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. You never know. James yeah. Brown was there that James night Brown. as well. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You met all you met them? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Did you feel like stars when you went into high school? You know, when you walked in and everybody recognized you as well, they knew us from singing in the hallways oh, yeah. over in the stairwell. Because yeah, mm -hmm. we used to practice in the morning, and then um, our music teacher, Harry Andrews. Mr. Andrews, yeah. Um, he just loved us to death, so mm -hmm. he would give us exposure when he could. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so we did a lot of practicing. Mm -hmm. Nice. Was there any talk of making another record? No, no we because we never got the opportunity to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean in between what? No, because no. I don't know what happened to him. Vince Rago, it seemed like he just kind of disappeared. disappeared. Yeah, that's my sense too, you know. He, yeah. um, um, and, and Richie Records sort of disappeared too. I mean, it just oh, okay. evaporated. And of course, he, didn't have, he never had an address. He never had a place of business or anything, did he? Not that no, I know of. Not we didn't I know. know too much about him. Because we mm -hmm. gave Being the information young. to our parents. Right. You know, they were more in charge of it. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How'd your parents feel about this whole deal? You got a record and Oh, they were very supportive. Yeah, of they us. were. They were excited. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did anybody form friends with you back then that wasn't your friend and is still your friend today? When you say anyone, you mean yeah, that you really didn't, you know, because of your stardom. Did they, were they attracted to you? And then after you stopped recording and stuff and went on to college and stuff, it just dissipated. No, because our friends were our friends. They were friends. Mm -hmm. So from you, the beginning, it was like the beginning to the end, to the end and we're still friends, friends with people that yeah. So there wasn't like all of a sudden somebody now wanted to be our friend because we were yeah. You know? No. And I don't think we really looked at ourselves And we didn't as change stars. either. We were still, you know, we exactly. Your parents we seem still, to have kept we you really grounded. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we were still No big we heads are. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Seemed like there was that one like time frame when the girl groups were, you know, the Supremes and, you know. Yeah, the Margaret and, then it just, and, yeah, and, and the Mandelas. Then early 60s. Yeah. Kind of, early 60s. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of went away after a while. Do you watch The Voice? Periodically, I do. I don't watch it all the time. Do you think that if we're coming around back in time where there'll be girl groups again, like there were back in the day? Hmm. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I don't really don't it, think so. Don't... Music's going a different way right now. Yeah. We've got all the plenty, rap and plenty of female artists right yeah. now. There are, yeah. Mm -hmm. But they're more or less solo. Solo, yeah. 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 You don't really see groups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would love to though. I would love to see some because it's a wonderful sound, I think, with the harmonies and everything. Yeah, yeah I think they've tried it a couple of times as a reality show on TV, girl groups. Um, they got together and then you don't hear any more from them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any regrets? Regrets? Yeah. Oh, no. No. I thought it was just a good experience. Nothing, nothing bad. No, nothing no bad, bad experience whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Nobody bothered you or hassled you or mm -hmm. made you feel... Because, you know, at that during that time, mm -hmm. you know, like you said, times are different. You didn't have that mm -hmm. um, fear of anybody doing anything to you. And then, plus, right. like I said, our parents were, you know... Like S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. Did and they come they to all of your um, performances? No. No? <laughs> no, my, my, like, more like my, my grandmother seemed like she came to everything. <laughs> <laughs> and I had, like, my cousins, but my mother didn't always come. More or less, my aunts and my grandmother was at most most of our events. Were they they let you go, and while you're up there by yourself, and they they weren't there to chaperone you, they must have trusted you. Well, oh, it yeah. was somebody well, there. Days, you know, huh? we were. 
dangerous. But we didn't. What? We, we didn't, were good girls. Yeah, I said we didn't. We didn't do anything that would. No, we dressed like good girls, so it wasn't anything provocative. That's for sure. But that I was mean, thinking not the blouse was none of that. Yeah, yeah. That, it was that was showing honest. the world that these are yeah. our good, our good baby girls. Exactly. Yeah. Nice. Come on in, Larry. Larry. All right. Any, anything you want to... Well, you guys have pretty much got it covered. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the one thing if I had to ask would be, how did it feel when you heard yourself on the radio? Because I remember hearing that record on the radio on Whams. I was excited. I was too. To hear us sing. It went to I what excited. on Whams, did you say? It went? The record. They played the record on Whams. Yeah, they fact, played it. Did they have a list of top... Yeah. Yes, they did. Well, yeah, I, I should have brought it. I, I actually have the Wham's list of hits that shows the continents at number eight. Previous week, they were at number five. And it was at this very time in 1963. Hmm. So, springtime of 63. What were you doing in springtime of 63? We were in the 11th grade. Uh huh. Yeah. In Wilmington High yeah, School. Wilmington High okay. School. Uh, and that's the Wilming well that was the Wilmington High School where the Cab Calloway School was. Exactly. You never went to the other one. No. no. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh yeah. Yeah, that must have been really exciting. Yeah. Who were some of the uh, uh um other groups locally that you're aware of? I mean, because Wilmington had a lot of, of music Local coming groups, out of yeah. it. Um yeah, the well, of, course, shows. of course Teddy and Continental. Right. Um, Lonnie in a crisis. Lonnie in a crisis, and Fred was in a um, dynamic concepts. Okay. He was in that group. Oh, the fellow that just came. Uh huh. In? Oh, he sings really? now. He can. He he really. Sings. Oh, okay. I I got yeah. to talk to him. Yeah. Um, because you know you know about the dynamic concepts, oh, yeah. right? Oh yeah, I, I know. Um, and I've talked to uh, Efres Bethea about it. He was the producer of. Mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, you mentioned uh, the travelers. The travelers. Yeah, you mentioned that, uh, and I couldn't come up with anything except this gospel group called the Gospel Travelers. No, they sing around in the local town. Townships. Okay, okay, but they, they were from Howard High School. Did they make a record? No. Okay. Um, See, you had a, you had a lot of people groups that sang. Yeah. But they didn't make, make a record. Make a record. Never a record. They could okay, sing. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, Lonnie and the Crises. Uh, who was Lonnie? Was that Lonnie White by any chance? Do you know? I don't know what Lonnie's last name. I don't know. Okay, we were trying to figure that out. And Fred yeah. may know that though. Oh, okay. Because uh, we were trying to figure out who Lonnie was. And George and I knew this fellow back in the 60s, Lonnie White. Who, he but became Snooky Tate. Became Snooky Tate? Is that what it yes. was? Yes. I know Snooky. I know Snooky. Huh? Snooky. But that's not the same Snooky that you're talking about. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> oh, the Ambassadors as well. Oh, that's right. Irish Eye. But Irish I think they made a record. But I don't know. can't Irish remember what it was. Okay. How about... Do... Good. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I forgot about Irish Eye. Mm -hmm. yeah. How about the Spidells? Do you remember them? No. What are some of the other groups back then, Larry? Oh, the Continentals. Yeah. Um, Ruth White, is that name ring a bell? She she did a record with on Chavis, with uh, the Continentals, but the Continentals weren't there. The Continentals broke up because everybody got drafted, you know, uh, or went into the service. But but Teddy evidently went over to Chavis Records uh, with a uh, Ruth White, and and uh, uh, he. Um, using the name Teddy Linton, because that was his mother-in-law's name or something like that. And Ruth White wrote a song. Okay, so it doesn't ring a bell. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. How about, well, I don't know, what other questions do you have? Like I said, you co you pretty much covered everything. <laughs> you think we covered it all? Well, I got a couple questions. Okay. So we we've, we've kind of covered the music part. So tell me what what did, what did you what did you do afterwards? You said you went to college. Tell me. You know, here with her. I want to talk about Valerie. Uh, when's the? Uh, uh, you said you went to school with Valerie for a little while. At, at Vinti. I did. Vinti did. Okay. I did. I did. College. And and she eventually had to have gone to medical school because she's. Uh, Pediatrician, right? Right. Okay. When when did that happen? How did all that work out? Um. 
You know, I don't remember. I don't remember, but I do remember um, uh, Valerie was in, because she got very sick. Mm -hmm. And I was living in Pennsylvania at the time, and I went to see her in New York. And at that time, Valerie was not, she had not become a doctor then. I'm not sure what she no. was doing then. But after she got well, mm -hmm. she became a doctor. Okay, what and medical this was school? like in the, I, I, I'm not sure. Okay. This was like in the um, 70s. Okay. Early 70s. Because that was just before I moved to Massachusetts. Okay. Incidentally, where in Massachusetts did you move? Uh, we lived in Acton for a year, Acton. and then we moved out uh, to Springfield. Okay, yeah, I lived in Somerville. Oh, okay. or and Slummerville, we both worked at Digital it. Equipment Corporation. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, so so she went, and where where did she open her first practice, or where did she first? I'm not sure in? she opened her own practice or was with the group, but she right. was in Chicago. Okay. Um, I know that, but I don't know ex what you know. Okay. What hospital or the name of her practice? I'm not but sure. But she basically practiced her entire career in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, if you were going to give advice to any young woman starting out today that said, "I want to be in the music business," what would you say? Be careful. Why? <laughs> Why? I hear about all the sexual harassment that's going around and uh, how people try to get to the top different ways and um and make sure you have good management make sure right. you have someone that you can trust how do you do that there for uh, other than um you know it's like who knows who right. you know you ask other people you ask other people business. do yeah. research it's a cutthroat right. industry you have to watch your back seriously <laughs> yeah. don't do it it's much more cutthroat now than it was then when it they were. When we they were, were yeah. As soon as they found out about mm -hmm. the money end of it, <laughs> then you got to be careful when there's right. a lot of money. Who manages like your that. money? You know, yeah. you have yeah. to keep yeah. an eye on things. Mm -hmm. What kind of music do you listen to today? I love oldies. I love jazz, but I love oldies because you know what? It never changed. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you hear um, um, Marvin Gaye or the OJ's or James Brown it sounds just as if they made the song today right. I mean it never changes it's right. the same you know and I just I just like oldies I like jazz I like yeah I, I noticed you have a picture a portrait of a Clifford Brown up there that is Brown yeah, right yeah that's Brown. Yeah, yeah that was um, what is his name Algy I met him through, um, he's the artist, I met him through Sidney Clark. Oh, okay. And he did a couple of um, pictures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'll, yeah. So what do you listen to? I listen to everything. <laughs> New music. With, um, yeah, Rats with my daughter doing. being in, in the industry, yeah. then I, I keep up with what's going on. Mm -hmm. Really? And who's mm -hmm. doing it, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. Do right, we have anything else? 